Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Forge, and welcome back to the Crow's Eye. Right, here we go. We're in this sort of strange, very strange concrete place. Of which I've completely forgot what I was doing. Okay, let's see. What do you got to tell us? I'm sorry, Benjamin. When the bosses closed the case and everything happened, somehow I knew I didn't just stand there. I asked Holwick for an explanation. I knew he had orchestrated all disappearances. Even he admitted it. It was very easy. He only had to obtain an order and William Holwick would go down in history. But by the time we finished talking, I didn't want to do it. He showed me around the place. He showed me his inventions, successful experiments, even unsuccessful ones. And as he finished showing me everything and giving me an explanation, I lost interest in locking him up. I saw the progress, the development. I don't know how he did it, but the disturbed way in which he saw the world was contagious, and finishing what I started didn't make any sense anymore. He suggested me to join him, and I simply accepted. He got me to lend my body to help him. I feel like a fool talking to nobody. This recording will never get to you, but I need to redeem myself. What? Okay, let's open that. Whatever that is. And wherever that is. That's bizarre. So, he just let him get away with it. And then he's done whatever to allow him to actually carry on as well. So, hmm. Doubly rubbish. Okay, how do I use that? I forget. Aha! A tiny bit more life. Because it... I don't know how, but I ended up with very little. Okay, what's this? It's another one of these conversations! Okay, so... Between Evelyn and Benjamin Bennett. Okay. Do you know where you are? In the hole! How are you feeling? Bad! Have they given you the medicine? No! Let me check this. I'll be back. We'll be done sooner if you tell me the truth. Can't you just give me some more? Overdosing is a dangerous thing. My head is going to explode. I can't do anything. Make this headache stop. Calm down and I shall pass. You lie. The more I try to calm down, the worse it gets. Then get upset. Kill me. We're not going to do that. Kill me! No! You're not more than a puppet obeying its master. That's new. Bro you're broken. Holtwick has broken you. You're nothing. Dr. Holtwick has that effect on people. Your life's worth less than a piece of paper. When you're not useful to him anymore, he'll dispose of you just as he does with everyone else. When the time comes, I'll be ready. Don't you even have a will of your own? I'm not like your friend, Kansas. Kansas? Silence! Is Kansas here? Silence! Hmm. Okay. Right, how do I get out? No, no, great. Okay, so we push that lever. Hmm. It's difficult to tell which ones are actually open. I guess that's open around the outside somewhere. We do seem to be working around this area, so it must be that I can just I can just walk around it. Can I go in here? Can I? Can I? There's a lever in here. I keep missing the entrances. That one I only just managed to go in because I just like walked around. Oh, hello. Eh. Good. Press, press lever. Good. Good. Now where is that? Where does that go? Mm, is it the other side of this? Is it that? Well, it's it did have a number on it, so presumably. Four or five. Presumably, it should be somewhere where I can I can see very easily. Yeah, that's not it. Ah, heck. 
Seven. It's not seven. Ah, they give me the ability to jump up here. Interesting. Hit, hit, and over. Can I, can I like go in there? No, that's glass. Okay, seven and six. This one? This one. Okay. Interesting. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Just sinks. I can wash my hands. That's about it. So pull that. And that should be five and six. Five and six. Well, there's five. Hang on, wait a minute. No, I've been in five and six. <laughs> Three and two. No, I want seven. Seven. What's that area? Oh, it's got a huh. And one of those. Uh, hmm. That's closed now. Interesting. Okay. Hang on, wait a minute. That's down. Hmm. Ah, these puzzles. Aha! Hang on, wait a minute, no. No, I've been in here. What? What? But that's... That's now not pressed. Or is it pressed? Ah, heck. Did I put that up there? I only just did it, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, five and six. That's seven. Did that help? Somehow I doubt it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't get through here. Seven! Yay! Wah! Okay, progress. Good, good. What's around? Anything? Can I pick up any of these? Can I open the drawers? Nope. What's around here? Nothing? More nothing! There's plenty of nothing for me. That's great. What's down there? Oh, it's just an electrical outlet. Zap! Done! Ba 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 ba! That's just adding a little Zelda. <laughs> Where is it? Here! Awesome! Well, that didn't take too much doing. Oh, I should probably save before I run in there. Okay, I'm going to go back and save. Alright. Back here. I should probably make more stuff. Can I get in there? Um, How do you get in there? What? Oh, hello. All of these abominations were once people who served as test subjects. Like me. I've lost count of the time they've been there. Or how many there are. They've outstanding served their purpose. And I've given them the opportunity to live longer lives. <laughs> but some of them are the bad memory of failed experiments. Well, you're mad enough to torture them for a lifetime. <laughs> Look at that place. They could do with tidying up. It's a little messy. And gutsy. Ugh. Okay, how do I get in there? I presume that's another one of those things that I have to do something somewhere else and then come back and grab that. Okay. Yes, that's, that's for me getting back here. Right. All right. Hang on. I can't get over there. It's way too far. Okay. In that case... Oh, this is going to be terrible. Okay, I need to see. I need to see my way over there. Oh, don't land on that. That's it. Okay. Please tell me I don't need to go through there at any point. Hmm. Can I just repel over there? You watch. But that didn't repel me anywhere. Nope, nope, it's refusing. Just 
Oh, that's the attract button. That would be why. Oh, it will let me repel over there. Okay, fair enough. I didn't need to go up that little thing after all. <laughs> hmm. This looks like the one I was on earlier, only... Only I'm not capable of jumping it because I'm rubbish at it. Here we go, let's have a look around here. Anything down here? Whoa. Whoa! I so totally nearly got my head crushed there. <laughs> That's like opening a cupboard door and then walking into it. An embarrassing move all around, really. Okay, let's try jumping this way and then... And then... Ooh, hello. Yes! I made it! Or maybe not. Whoa! Nearly clonked me noggin. Okay, try again. This time, without the rubbishiness un and the clonking of knob noggin. Here we go. Right, I made it this time. That ceiling's a little close. This better not be the place as I went before. It can't be. I left that place behind. A long way behind. Okay, let's do the jump thing and. Ooh, how cruel! Okay, I nearly made it. Very nearly made it. There's nothing down here, nope. Nope. Okay, straight on then. Right, here we go. Run, 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 and jump! Yeah! Simulating his father was supposed to be the objective. You can't blame me for having done what you expected me to do. William. I hope you be beyond this. You deceived me. Your impulsions towards the boy almost spoil everything. You tried finishing off the subject. That gives everything here a meaning. As best as I could. <laughs> oh, looks like she's got a gas problem. Exactly. You've been a great service. <laughs> Is he going to use her as an experimental subject? He's going to use her as an experimental subject, isn't he? Oh, what a pity. After trying to kill me. Yeah. You got what you deserved, lady. You should have been nicer. Or even in the slightest bit nice. That would have that would have helped. It kind of looks like I could get in there cuz there's a there's a huh on the wall, which means I kind of could could get in there maybe. No. No, it's determined not to do it. Okay, fair enough. In that case, I'll have to go back. Which is probably why all of these ladders were in place. I was wondering why these weren't pits of doom. How? 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 Oh, that's how. That's why it was going up and down. Because I've got to go all the way over there. E no, no, no. Oh, there's a ladder! Ah, oh, forget that then. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy route every time. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, what's the point in that? What's it? The, the what's it over there? That. Kind of makes me feel like I should have gone there, but at the same time, it's definitely not so. So, hmm. At least I got more life again now. And I can get this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. One battery. I, Evelyn O'Donnell, in full use of my mental faculties, freely and after a long deliberation, I state that William Holtwick has full capacity to decide on both my health and my life indefinitely, as he did with my parents. I consider he is the only one in the world able to put science before his own life. 
and my wish is that somebody with this gift can decide on my life as long as the objective is knowledge and the progress of mankind. I hereby sign this statement after thorough consideration, and I ask that my will is respected. Oh dear. She signed her own death warrant. I'm going to escape this place and then I'm going to forget it and never return. That's my plan. <laughs> now I've completely forgotten where the battery was that I needed to put this... No, where the big generator thing was that I needed to put the battery in. It's got to be around somewhere. But where? I could do with a map for this area. I'm guessing that I was, like, able to pick up the things for a map for this area. Oh, I've got a map for this. Well, I have for this area anyway. Ah! Excellent. We have it. It's right here. No problem. Is that the only one I needed? Please be the only one I needed. Yay! We can go in the elevator. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, hello. Test area. Ugh. That's not good. Can it be a test area that is... I'm not allowed to use that. Yes, I am allowed to use that. Okay. Is there a safe place? Please have a safe... Why would you need two grandfather clocks? Hmm. I think personally I would just have the one. In a, in a better room than in the hallway. It's just like a house. Am I out? How can I get out? I don't hear the creepy music, so... Hmm. Where are we? Lipstick. Bottle of... Booze, probably. Here we go. Okay. There is a turning point in which my life changed completely, and even today I feel that I live anchored to that moment. I've always been aware of... Uh, aware that after that experiment something had changed in me, but I learned to ignore the signs. When I believed that I had finally overcome all of my problems and I could finally be happy, I entered hell itself. That seems like a bad plan. Why would you want to go there? It's all... it's all burny and painful. Okay, uh, where are we going? Can I go out the front door? Oh, the front door doesn't exist. It's just the elevator to Holtwick. Why would I want to go in there? I don't know what I want all those for. Fair. Still needs to just, I, I mean, there is an achievement for destroying 50, like, glass items. So I guess this is where you get most of your glass items from. Nice table setting. Okay. What's this? B! I haven't been able to do anything to change destiny. Believe me, when I say I tried my best, but no matter how many trials I overcame, no matter how much I investigated, I wasn't able to accomplish anything. I don't even know how long I've been here. Although without hope, I trust that you will find the way. I love you. Not enough to hide keys everywhere to get out of here. Eh. Oh, I can't go up the stairs. I am allergic to stairs. I can literally go this far, and then no. Just... I can't even jump jump up them. No. 
Okay, so I am definitely, I'm not a stairs person. Try the phone? Can we phone out? Nope. Okay. Ha! I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I suppose I could do with a key. Because somehow we've got to get into that lift and it won't let me up the stairs. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Hello, key. Hmm. Unless it's in a bottle or something. That would be mostly unexpected. Tish. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm just making a mess of the floor. Ah, the key was above the door. Well, a different door. Ah, that took me quite a while. <laughs> I think that was that was a bit mean on the uh, on the difficulty front. Oh, we're back in the kids' little room. Sunshine. Woo ha! At least that's bright and cheerful. Aha, uh -huh. a note. Can I take that? Usually I can take the ink thing, can't I? Make maps. Okay, let's see. I've stopped counting the times I've witnessed your death. I'm so sorry. I couldn't do anything to change your fate. The hardest thing isn't seeing your son die a thousand different ways, but to feel a thousand times the importance of not being able to do anything about it, and yet still keep hoping you'll be able to achieve it the next time. And when the time comes when you're given when you've given up and you've you're certain you can't do anything to prevent it from happening seeing your own face so full of fear as your son's life escapes from your grasp all of it is horrible mm, it sounds it okay so what did I want in here other than this lever eh. What? That was... That was the rock slide lever. Just for those people who wanted to cause a... Whoa! Hi! Oh, a lovely addition to your house. The creepy corridor of flames. And... and yeah, and, and coffins. All, all of the creepy coffins and and that that's that's just what you want on your house hmm at least it's doing lively music rather than uh, rather than scary music how am I supposed to open that do I just open it can I just open it open 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 uh, hang on. No, that's just pulsating. Okay, so how do I open that? Well, that's interesting. The four tiles are changing colour. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> eh. That's going to change to white. Okay, so I've got to make all of the floor tiles the same colour. Black, presumably. Hopefully. <laughs> ah. This is a pain. Okay, I want that white. That's going to be black now. That's no good. How am I going to do this? This is going to take ages. I don't know whether they need to be white or black yet. So, I'll just make them all black for starters. No, white even. <laughs> Why couldn't they have made the door more easily opened? <laughs> Why would you make a system where your door takes absolutely ages? What if you need to get in there quickly? <laughs> Bravo! 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 <laughs> My most sincere congrats! I found it. I didn't have much expectations placed upon you. But you surprised me. I suppose you have many questions, young man. Yes. And I have all the answers you could possibly need. <laughs> As a token for having arrived so far, I'm going to give you a small gift. Your father is here with me. Great, your Tree. 
I am troubled by the crazed loon. <laughs> I think this could be the end. I don't know what was going on with the rest of the place. Uh oh. Is this a maze? Is it a maze? He never really gave me a chance. It was a lie. Okay, that just goes round in a little square, doesn't it? Yes. Where does it take me? Does it take me anywhere different? Nope. Okay, let's go in here then. This is bizarre. That's a nicer flooring. I like this one. Just look at this place. And I think he's mad. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's perfectly sane. <laughs> this is still a maze. I, I always have to take every single path I can find, just in case. Okay, that, that was the way that we came from. Ah, little circle. Hmm. It's not given me a save point in ages, so I think that this is likely the end. In which case, I understand nothing. <laughs> I know that the guy is crazy. Is this it? There's nothing there. Really? Okay, let's go over there then. See and then jump. Ooh, just made it. Is there another? Ah, it's opening. Uh-oh. The music's gone. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh really? I'm I gonna miss? I'm gonna miss. It closes anyway. I was supposed to miss. Okay. My life is flashing before me. Along with many horrible pictures. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? I'm going through a massive city. The end. I had to arrive someday. Mm. <laughs> well, I had a feeling it was you. 288 attempts in your sure perseverance. Mm. <laughs> As I told you before, I know you have many questions mm. and I'm going to grant you the pleasure of knowing the answers. Are In you? the first place, allow me to introduce you to your father. Twenty years have passed since you last saw him. Well then, the first answer I suppose you want to hear is why you're here. You see, truth is, the only one to blame for you being here is your own father. And you for keeping me here. I guess that during your walk through the university, you have heard about something called the Philadelphia Experiment. Yep. In 1943, the U.S. Army came asking me for help. <laughs> they told me they needed to find a way to make their ships undetectable, dodging the enemy radars. They offered me a great deal of money and, <laughs> for the good of science, I accepted. <laughs> accepted? I was in charge of a group belonging to the scientific elite of the time, and we developed a system based on electromagnetic waves to create a field that surround the ship so the sound waves coming from enemy radars would get through it. Something went wrong. It didn't work. I don't know whether it was due to some miscalculations or the executors manipulating everything wrongly. But what at first was meant to be an inoffensive experiment ended with the lives of tens of marines and a one-way ticket to the madhouse for others. <laughs> like you. The only person who got out of there unharmed 
was your father. Once the experiment finished, the survivors were transferred and examined. I had to carry out some tests on Benjamin. I discovered his brain activity surpassed the usual limits. So I decided to investigate further. Years later, I called him to come to this university to investigate several disappearances. <gasps> Which I myself was guilty for. <laughs> and to carry out as many tests as I willed without having to give bureaucratic explanations. That was when I discovered the cause of his high brain activity. <laughs> A part of his brain had awakened respond to dangerous stimuli, recreating a possible future according to the president. That's to say, he was eh? able to have premonitions whenever he or loved one was in danger. As you've observed, the university is full of cameras and all of these monitors reflect what's been going on all this time. I forced your father to watch you in the few dangerous situations you've encountered. Monitored his response to said stimuli. <laughs> I wanted to use those studies to play God, but during these 20 years, I haven't found a way to profit from such power. My last hope was bringing his stimulus to the limit with you, but it has also failed. Well, you're doing great. Then. I suppose you'll be asking yourself is. What is this place? <laughs> As you may have already figured, it's not any ordinary university. <laughs> is it hell? It's probably hell. Some years ago, nobody wanted me to become part of their projects, given the fact that I'm well known for my lack of morality. Hell, isn't it? I decided that my knowledge had to be shared with promising young prodigies on the fields of science and medicine. In hell? would have no qualms about doing what others would categorize as atrocities. Mm. <laughs> they are necessary sacrifices. <laughs> what would become a medicine if atrocities and perfidious features of which humanity reprints from had taken place? The end justifies all means. That's why I created this institution, a place where only the most bright and decided people would be chosen by me <laughs> to work under my orders. As experiments advanced, it wasn't enough to have one or two laboratories locked with a simple key at the university. I needed a place where nobody could snoop around. And what better place could there be than right beneath it? <laughs> Once to this point, and having satisfied your curiosity, I am pleased to inform you that you'll be an excellent test subject. Lovely. This is only the beginning! <laughs> How the heck did he build all of that stuff under the university? I mean... How? Maybe I was just sat in that chair all the time. Maybe that was it. I do not know. Well, that was quite bizarre. It was it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. I think, yeah, it's it, it's bizarre. I think the I think that the I think that the ending was a little bit long in the fact that that guy's talking for a very long time explaining a lot of stuff but if you've not read all of the documents on the way here then I guess you probably need that because I usually I probably wouldn't read all of the documents on the way here so that was okay anyhow that is the end of the crow's eye so I shall have to catch you in the next episode of something else in the meanwhile you take care thanks for watching feel free to watch other things on my channel feel free to subscribe if you haven't already Catch you next time. Bye for now.